books, my photographs, a couple letters and a backstage pass. Yeah, it's so great to see you, or I should say speak with you, because I was about to say last time I saw you was, what, a month ago, I guess? Yes, at the CMA Ontario Awards. And you looked fantastic. It was crazy there and everything else, too, but it was so great to see you. Um, so great knowing that you have uh, new music out, but even better for me, because now, for as long as you and I have known each other, there's one thing I've never been, I've never done. And that is, I've never had the chance to introduce you in front of an audience. I get to do that as we speak. Uh, Chevrolet Indie Fridays coming up very, very soon. You're going to be performing there. I cannot wait. How do you feel being part of something like this? Because I've got to tell you something. The crowds have been fantastic coming out to see this. Oh, really? I'm so excited. Well, because it's Young and Dundas Square. So... It's a kind of a big deal. I've never performed there, so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. And I know it's a free show, so it means anybody can come and enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to bring country music to downtown Toronto. You know, and the other thing, too, you just said bring it to Toronto. You've been bringing your flavor of Canadian country music now for, i say, a long time. Um, and yeah. you've really worked at it, too. But the thing is, though, something just clicked. You've been able to make your mark. How does it feel, though, being part of this new generation where, think about it, every time that we're going to talk about your new album, um, you do music, there's that youngster who is listening to your music going, I want to be like her, and they're going to be part of the next generation of Canadian country superstars. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's Right now it is, is an amazing time for country music. I feel like... In a way, anything goes. The genre is so large that um, there, between both ends of the spectrum, between traditional country music to now we've got this like pop country rock crossover happening, it's exciting. And I feel like it's that way because we we kind of are in control of what we listen to now. It's not only what the radio plays, but we can control it because of Spotify and because of iTunes and we've got all our music on our phone. And... It's yeah, it's exciting and it's neat to see when the the younger generation um listens to music now. Uh they do. They listen to a little bit of everything. So it's it's kind of neat to think that I might be inspiring some people that are are interested in getting into music. You're so right. There's even like Caribbean uh country music too. Like you're what? Right. So yeah. many different flavors. When you decided to record your album, your your new album, though, what were yeah. you thinking, um, like, for style and things like that? And not just style, but for storyline, too. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I was thinking, okay, do I want to play these songs live? Like, would I put these songs into my live show? Because I guess after doing this a couple times, I realized if, I, if it's not a song that I'm actually going to be able to play live, then maybe w why am I recording it? Or you just you ask yourself that question because you only have so much space. And because of that, it means that I didn't record um, a lot of ballads. Like this album is mostly up-tempo stuff. Um, it's stuff that I would play at festivals. And not that I didn't want to record ballads, but I think that there's a time and place for that, um, and I'm still going to do it, but just not on this project. So, I mean, that's what I was thinking. Um, but I also was thinking I wanted to keep it pop country um, and kind of play off of, say, along the lines of, like, Thomas Rhett's new album or Keith Urban, um, because I love that stuff. And I feel like, especially when I perform it live, it takes even more of a rocky vibe to it as well. Um, and then just keeping the, the content and the lyrics really positive, because that's where I'm at right now. There's actually not a single breakup song on the album. It's all about new love or um, adventure and kind of living life to the fullest and, and overcoming challenges. So it was kind of a different process for me this time around. What's the latest single? It's called First. First. That, that can, no, first can mean anything. I know, right? Right? <laughs> so what did it mean for you? Well, I wrote this song in L.A., actually. I was on my first writing trip there, and it was last September, and I think – it was in fall, and I was feeling nostalgic, I think. You know, the seasons are changing. And I just, we started talking about our first relationships and first love. And that's how the song started. And I think it's, I mean, we all have memories of our first 
our first loves. And for me, mine was a really positive experience. Um, uh, you know, we ended, it was, it was, we still respect each other a lot. And so I think just reflecting on that and writing a song about it and, and yeah, it was, it was neat for me to do to kind of go, cause I really haven't written a song about that. Are we, uh, I was going to, sorry for interrupting, I was going to ask you, are we going to be hearing first and other songs from the album at the show? Absolutely, yes. My set actually is mostly the new songs. So that's been exciting to get the band together and start rehearsing them and, and figure out, okay, who's playing what part and uh, <laughs> the set list and what song flows well into uh, another song. So, yeah, you definitely will be hearing new music. And, you know, as we speak, this week, the uh, CCMAs, a lot of announcements are going on, uh, you know, who's nominated for what. Are we going to see you at the CCMAs? Absolutely. Well, they're in Hamilton this year. So that means I, I don't have to fly anywhere to get there. So that's really nice. So I definitely will be there. And looking forward to, um, well, having Shania Twain host. That's going to be pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, finally, yeah. she's back with us. <laughs> she's back. <laughs> the other yeah. thing, too, though, um, I mean, you got the performance happening this Friday. What yeah. other shows are going to be happening with you two throughout the summer? Well, I've got, actually, on um, Saturday this week, I'm playing in my hometown, playing a big uh, festival there, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, that's in Uxbridge, Ontario. It's called Hits Fest. And then I'm back in Toronto on July 20th at the Rockin' Horse uh, doing a show there. So there's there's lots of stuff coming up, so you can always check out my website, too. Fantastic. Look, I'm not going to take too much time from you. No like problem. I cannot wait to introduce you uh, at uh, Young Dundas Square. This is going to be so much fun. Like I said, crowds have been fantastic, and you're just going to just bring it up just at another notch. Thank you again for being able to take time to do the interview. Say hello to the boyfriend for me, okay? I will. I will. <laughs> I love him. I don't know. Did you get a chance to see the video I popped up of the interview that we did? I did, actually. We both watched it. It was so cool. Oh, and my God. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so sorry. thank you for that. I keep interrupting you. I'm so sorry. What were you going to say? No, no. I was just going to say, um, well, I didn't know if we were still recording, but it's for people that aren't aware, um, we're talking about Tim Deegan, and that's my boyfriend, and he does a lot of videos for me. He directed, actually, the video for first. So, yeah, so it's pretty cool to, to be able to work together like that. Yeah, no, you know what? I can understand why you recorded this kind of album, because you said it was all positive. He's a very positive dude. From the first time I met him when he won that VJ search to, uh, you know, running into him again with the both of you. Like I said, he's a positive guy. I'm so happy for the both of you. And the fact is, you two are helping to make great music through you, and I love it. Oh, thank you so much, Rudy. That means that means so much. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you on Friday. Cannot wait. All right. And uh, I may be down at the Rocky Horse, too, on the 20th because it's the day before my birthday, so what the heck. What oh, we so a little pre-birthday bash? There you so. go. <laughs> oh, website, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. Where do we go to follow you? Yeah, so I'm uh, Twitter and Instagram at Leah Daniels. And, yeah, my website's leahdaniels.com. Fantastic. See you on Friday, and thanks again. Sounds good. See you then. You got it. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.